Turn with me to the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 6. It's going to be a brief one. The book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 6. Whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God he made man. God created man in his own image and likeness. He decided to put his own life, meaning his own spirit, into man when he breathed a man. That life was given by God, not man. And that life must not be taken by man. God is angry that in the world today, people who have taken oath, satanic oath, in the occult world, satanic oath in various secret societies have forcefully organized themselves and made themselves available only to be used by Satan, not to promote peace, but bloodshed. And that is why you see them in high places promoting wars, tribal sentiments, political wars, economic wars, national wars. Even in rural areas, you see communities wage wars against other communities. You see villages rising up with man-made weapons to kill their fellow human being. The earth is spiritually covered with bloods of innocent people that are shed. And God is extremely angry. Write it down. The living God Almighty is extremely angry and has issued out a divine verdict that will get all perpetrators spiritually attended to and given their portion of life. On this note, we are led by the Spirit of God to come out with a strong message which cannot be ignored and must not be ignored by anybody. What is the message? Promote peace, not bloodshed. What is the message? Promote peace and not blood shed. This is not the message you used to hear or like the one you hear as you go ahead to carry out your act of killing, stealing and destruction. This is a message that God himself is delivering and will finally execute his words. He who kills by sword is ready to be executed by sword. As people that are created by God, we are taught that our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty or preferably spiritual through God in pulling down all satanic or demonic strongholds. Satan has representatives everywhere. And these are people fueling wars, promoting violence. And these are people that the blood of human beings 
do not matter anymore to them. You may have been doing this for long, for years, and enriching your private accounts, business accounts, enriching yourself or self financially. But this time around, divine justice will take place. Do not say that you have not heard this. This time around, divine justice will take place. This justice will be rendered by God himself and used to promote peace on earth. You Satan, you cannot say that you were cast down from heaven. You Lucifer, you cannot say that you were cast down from heaven and are only allowed to be moving to and fro on the surface of the earth. The reason is because the throne of God is in heaven. Even his footstool, his feet are on earth. God owns the visible world. God also owns the invisible world. God owns the heaven and everything in heaven, the earth and everything on earth. God owns the air, owns the land, owns the water, and everything in them. You cannot claim possession of anyone or anything because you never created any. You have been moving from generation to generation, causing confusion, promoting spiritual murder, causing wars, shedding innocent blood, making many people orphans, widows, deformed, sick, and even rebellious to God. But your time has come to an end. Your evil act or plan to promote your usual wars or bloodshed will be met by the spiritual forces of heaven with all divine weapons of warfare that will put an end to your existence both now and forevermore. Right now, I stretch my hands to challenge the evil spirits that are moving from families to families, communities to communities, local government to local government, states to states, tribes to tribe, religions to religions, nations to nations, continents to continents, the world, the universe, and everything in them, generations to generations. And I command all satanic works and activities, all spiritual murderers, spiritual terrorists, forces of darkness that are against development, peace, reconciliation, love, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of God, and the beautiful works of God. I command all of you to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost fire. Fire! 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 I send the fire of God's deliverance to everyone. I send the fire of God's deliverance to everything. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere! Let the spirit of death and destruction be finally destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Holy Ghost, fire! 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 
I send the fire of God deliverance to your life. And I command your life to be separated from hardship. I command your life to be separated from sudden death. I command your life and business, your life and job to be separated from hatred. Receive the grace. Receive. 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 I command your spiritual life to be separated from nightmares, from evil attacks, from wet dreams, from all spiritual delicacies, satanic tables, satanic food, satanic drinks, Holy Ghost fire. to your journey as you go out and as you come in receive your salvation total freedom from accidents total freedom from troubles total freedom from satanic plots receive the grace receive Receive! Receive! All spirits in charge of religious bigotry, ethnic misunderstanding, confusion in various nations, injustice, corruption, misrule, joblessness, Joblessness, lack of development, lack of concentration to build your nation. Holy Ghost fire! 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 Let everyone on earth be saved by God. Be saved by Jesus Christ and be saved by the Holy Spirit both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace of the living God Almighty and of His Son Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit always be with you always be with everyone in your family always be with your leaders always be with your nation always be with your business always be with your career and always be with all nations in the world both now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your lives and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Say neighbor, my new name is a promoter of peace. Say, neighbor, my new name is a promoter of peace. Come on, walk like a promoter of peace. Say, neighbor. What is your own new name? Say, neighbor, your new name should be a promoter of peace, 
not war. Say, neighbor, your new name should be a promoter of peace, not a promoter of bloodshed. Say, neighbor, our new names are promoters of peace not promoters of war. Say, neighbor, I choose the path of peace, the path of reconciliation, the path of negotiation, the path of peaceful are useful negotiation I refuse to choose the path of war I refuse to choose the path of killing stealing and destruction the neighbor my family refuse to choose the path of bloodshed. <laughs> Ministers of God, let us fight the right spiritual warfare. Not telling people that someone is bad. Not condemning other ministers or ministries. Occultic spirits have migrated into many places to cause division in the body of Christ. But their end has finally come. There will be peace in the body of Christ. There will be unity among the body of Christ. Both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.